Michiwa, this is the socially distant Shogunstein, and this is a look at the setup of Riverboat, a game I was uh, very excited to, to get. Been on my wish list for a long time and caught a uh, good deal online. So it came yesterday, and I've been uh, reading the rules and watching some of the uh, YouTubes, and we're all ready to play. I'm all ready to lose to little Shogunstein, who didn't watch any of the rules videos and will probably beat me by uh, 50 points anyway. So here is the uh, setup. We got it set up for, for two players, and you'll see there's some very nice uh, components here. Here we have uh, our river boats and uh, New Orleans and bonus cards. Here we have our crops, and here we have the turn order. And those are the, uh, what do they call those? The uh, Roman numerals. Showing you the uh, different phases of the, the game. And we have our barns and wells and some coins. And then, uh, again, we have our pile of bonus cards. This is where we're going to be uh, sending our workers. So, again, we have our crops here. And you'll see the uh, single tile crops that don't score anything right away. You have the double crops that get you one point. And then you have the, uh, the trees that score you two points right away. And here's the, the score track. And then because it looks like uh, scores can get pretty high, they give you a uh, little added uh, token. So that way you can add the, the 100 or the 150. And we have our... Uh, Steering wheel. I, I don't know if that's what you call it a river, but I don't know if you call it a steering wheel or not. But there's our, our uh, boat wheel. That's the first player uh, token. So everyone here has their own customized uh, player board. So it's kind of neat that the uh, shapes of the, the crops are different on each board. And that way it gives some replayability to the game. And as I pointed out in our uh, unboxing what I really like and appreciate as a colorblind gamer is not only do you have these different colors, but they give you a symbol. So people like me that are colorblind will be able to play based on the, the symbol and not have to uh, worry about telling the, the colors apart. So everyone has a harbor master, and you got to get that harbor master up to or past your ships to score. You're going to get um, two surveyors to start. You need surveyors to score. And then you're going to get uh, 13 workers. Coins are interesting in this because coins allow you to kind of uh, bend the rules a little bit. You pay a coin and you can uh, pick from, you can go through the, uh, the piles, whether it be the, the piles of uh, crops or the piles of bonuses to uh, look for a card that that you want or need okay what's going to be neat also here is you're going to be drafting because there are five phases of the the game and you're going to draft to see who's going to go uh, lead in each of these different phases now we're going to be doing a two-player game so it'll uh, someone will get three and someone will get two and then it'll switch so what's kind of neat is you'll see that uh, if you have the tile which says you go first in this phase, there's going to be a, a bonus for you. So depending on what sort of bonus you're trying to get, so this one's going to give you an extra worker. This one's going to move your harbor master. This is going to give you a uh, victory point. And this one is going to get you a uh, either a coin, a harbor master, movement or allowing you to put a uh, worker in New Orleans. Workers in New Orleans at the end of the scoring round are going to get you a point and then you'll see at the end of the game if you have the most workers in New Orleans you can get 20 points or 10 points so that's going to be some nice uh, bonus points. So again this game is set up for two players. Again we have our individual uh, Boards. You'll see here also that if you fill up your uh, particular color, at the end of the game, you're going to get seven bonus points at the end. And then you're going to score for any leftover coins or any unused 
uh, wells or uh, barns. So very excited to get this to the table. Again, this is a look at the setup of Riverboat. We'll uh, let you know how it plays, and then we'll let you know our initial thoughts. And then as we get more plays in, we'll give you a, a final review. So I'm pretty psyched for this, I'm very excited. And again, I've watched uh, all the videos, read all the instructions, and I'm about to uh, lose to my 13-year-old. Uh, this is the Shogunstein out.